Hi, I'm Sabina, and about a week ago I posted something about uh, using the swimming pool noodle method of making a quilt sandwich, and a lot of people said or asked, what is that method? Um, so I thought I would do a tutorial since I couldn't find the original one that I used. So what you need is three pool noodles. If you're making a small piece, if you're making a larger piece, you'll have to join two pieces, two tubes together. And you can do that with a little bit of rolled up newspaper, stick them together and then secure them with some duct tape. Sometimes the noodles are very straight, so you can put a, um, this is an old curtain rod, you can use that, or a dowel rod, you just have to make sure something that will fit the diameter of your inner bowl. The other thing that you need is a lot of safety pins. I used about 170 on a quilt that was uh, 78 by 98 and you need a few uh, straight pins to secure your fabric to the noodles. You also need something to protect your table. I taped together a couple placemats. They're nice and thin. You can use your cutting mat. It's a little bit thicker, uh, but just protect your table. So, the first thing is to take your backing fabric and put the fabric face down. That's very important to have it face down on your table. And just let it hang off the end of the table if it's too long. Just get it nice and straight. Have your fabric ironed and nice and square. You wanna square it up too and you take a pool noodle and you center it on the fabric and take a straight pin, anchor it down into the pool noodle, do another one over here at the edge and another one down at this end put a few more in if you want but basically you just pin it on there and you roll it up as smoothly as you can keep rolling roll it up if you have a couple wrinkles don't worry too much um, because when you unroll it, you'll be, you'll have another opportunity to straighten it, but do the best you can the first time around. I think that goes without saying. Stick another pin in there and put it aside. Then take the batting and same thing. Open out your batting. Let it hang over the table if necessary. Take another noodle, get it centered. Secure it with straight pins. And again, roll it up. And you can see this part goes pretty fast. And we'll put the batting aside and take the quilt top. This is a beautiful quilt top that I got for $3 at a rummage sale. And we put the quilt top face up. Remember the backing goes face down and the quilt top goes face up. 
Then take your pool noodle and get it centered. Stick a pin in a few places. And roll it up. The next part of this method is tedious to say the least, but this is how you do it. Take out that anchoring pin and start to unroll the fabric, which is face down, and line it up with the edge of your table. Unroll about 18 inches and then take your batting. Line it up, center it on your, um, on your back, backing and line it up with your edge and unroll that and smooth it out. As you go, smooth all the layers. Next, take the quilt top and center it on the batting line the edges up and start to unroll. Okay, smooth everything out and then protect your table. We'll slide this under and we'll start to pin. This little size safety pin is a good size. It's perfectly adequate. You don't need the larger ones. I thought I did, but they ended up being hard to put through all the layers. So these little ones are okay. Uh, I would not recommend getting uh, pins at the dollar store because they are really flimsy and they're more trouble than they're worth. Put another pin, we'll start at the center near the edge and you put maybe a hand's length away from each other. And then you move out to the edges, pin through all the layers. And put another one. You might want to be concerned about your pin placement if you know where you're going to be quilting. Like if you were going to be doing a line of, oops, a line of stitching down here, you obviously don't want to put your pins there in this um, where you'd be quilting. And you would work your way out to the edges of the quilt, starting at the edge of the uh, quilt and working your way out to the sides. So you would work your way out this way and out this way and then you would unroll your quilt backing, your batting and your top a little and then you can move the whole thing forward. So you can work on this next area. you do a little bit more, you go out to the sides, you unroll some more, unroll more, unroll, put another pin out to the sides, keep unrolling until your whole quilt top has been pinned. Um, some people use like to use spray based. I don't because I am sensitive to the fumes, but there are some tutorials that show you how that process works. And I hope this was useful. This was my first video, so I hope it will be helpful to you. Thanks.